Hi, welcome to another week, another wash hour. This is an eight day old set that I'm about to reset. So um, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time being here, if you're a frequent watcher, welcome back. And I am Nicole. I, you know what I need to do y'all? I've been thinking about it, but you know, those things take time. Like I need to just put a, what you call it? Like a credits at the beginning where I just go through all of this, but I'm not there yet. So I appreciate you being patient with me as I just repeat this, you know, for every video, if you're new here, right? Welcome. But I start the 30 day hair detox in January of 2021. So the purpose of my videos is to show you how my hair is progressing as I'm cleansing, conditioning, and styling every uh, five to seven days. My sweet spot, I like to, I like my hair to last till day eight. It doesn't always happen, but that's what I like. Um, so this is a successful day eight hair. And so also showing you my visits to my tight curl specialist and how those appointments go to help encourage you or to allay any fears or reservations that you may have about partnering with a tight curl specialist and to maybe give you some idea how the appointment goes but also some things that you can ask and how you can work with your um, tight curl specialist to uh, set reasonable goals for your hair if you can right? Everybody can't. Everybody doesn't want to. That's fine. I can and I want to. So I'm sharing my experience with you. Um, so at this point, um, I'm going to cleanse and condition my hair and detangle it in the shower, cleanse with shampoo, um, condition with conditioner and detangle, uh, protect it at Protected by Lisa. Just did a post, um, maybe it was like October the 20th 19th go back and look through her post explaining um about shampooing and the different um types of shampoo she does good uh, informational posts i like that about her so she mentioned there's a, a cleansing shampoo there's an all-purpose shampoo and there's a moisturizing shampoo and then she put a little bit about um what each the purpose of each one is and when you would use it so today i'm going to use a an right you put an in front of a vowel and all-purpose shampoo then i'm going to follow it up with a moisturizing shampoo then i'm going to probably cocktail some conditioners together because i want to and that's my business as tabitha brown says um i'm probably going to cocktail the all-purpose and the moisture poo i mean moisture conditioner together and i might put a couple of pumps of quinoa repair in there just because to give my hair a little extra boost before I go see my, my stylist in a week for my third maintenance visit. So my first maintenance visit, you can see here. My second maintenance visit, you can see here. Hopefully when I edit it, I'll put it here or is it here? Maybe it's here. And then this will be my third maintenance visit. So we'll see how my hair has progressed in health right because health is not just about is my hair growing is is it about it's about am i you know maintaining healthy hair habits and growing healthy hair and yeah so then after with the after i put the conditioners on my hair and plenty of water in my hair right then i'm going to detangle it with my felicia leatherwood tang detangler brush then i will let the conditioner sit in my hair while i shower and then i will put the uncle funky's daughter uh, in my hair and then um, come out here and put on whatever topper gels I deem necessary for what I have planned for this week. I mentioned in the previous video that I will be doing a farmer's market on Saturday where I will be outside for like four hours or more in the elements so that I might want to put a little bit of a gel with a stronger hold since I know in advance that that's the type of environment I'm going into if I want my hair to stand up well to that. So I'll probably include that gel with a stronger hold in my topper gels. What products do I use? Did you look at the description box below? Have you watched my previous videos? Because at this point, 
you should be able to tell me what I'm using just from the description I laid out for you. So give, give it a try. See if you can, you can tell me what I'm using. So that's that intro. What else do I have before I go wash my hair? Oh, I got a new thing. So maybe I'll show y'all that after I get, get out. Yeah. Later on in the video. So I'm going to go cleanse, condition my hair, and then I come back out here to style it. I'm back. Hopefully, when I left, you took the time to hit that subscribe button. And if you did, thank you so much. And if you haven't, it's okay. There's still time. So go ahead and click it. And um, yeah, I appreciate your support. It doesn't cost you money, but it does cost you effort. And I appreciate you extending the effort. I really do. So here's where I am. Cleansed, conditioned, detangled, because that's important, while the conditioner was on my hair. And now I'm in the, um, I'm still applying products. So this is kind of the gray area. I consider it the styling portion. I don't know if I am Black Girl Curls considers this part, part of the wash hour. Um, but I think, it, I think it does count. Yeah, applying the products, but not actually the raking and smoothing styling part. So first, where are we? Okay, so I'm gonna add my first topper gel. And uh, one more thing I thought about while I, whilst, while I was doing my hair today is when I am applying, when I'm wetting my hair with water, right? Opening it up so the water can get through all my high density. <laughs> and then I'm doing this right motion to help the water get through there start elongating my hair for the style I want which is a wash and go and when I'm applying the conditioner even when I'm when I'm rinsing it out right then when I'm applying the conditioner I'm doing this kind of motion right but when it comes to applying my first gel the Uncle Funky's daughter I do not do this while applying the product getting the product in there means I'm just putting the product in my hair and enough water. And then when I come out here is when I uh, work on distributing it um, through my hair, like so. So that's not something I do in the shower and that helps not to, right, pull the product out. Cause Uncle Funky's daughter is slippery, not to uh, prematurely pull the product out of your hair and wash it down the drain, right? And to keep the product in the water in your hair that you're working so hard to put in there and then that contributes to a good wash and go. So here we go with my first topper gel. Cause the base gel is one thing, right? And then the topper gel are the gels you put on top of the base gel. So I like to do this in four sections. All right, so here I go. that much and that still might not be enough for one section let's see let's see what happens i told y'all right that i figured out kind of my um my is there enough gel in my hair test so once i apply it we'll see if it's telling me it's enough in there or not Know this side of my hair is more dense than this side, right? First topper gel, right? Not this, my second gel, but it's my first topper gel. Now, my second gel I'm putting on here is the one that I mentioned before, is like spritz. So This is 
my anti-humidity, anti-frizz, yummy smelling. So now I got the product on my hair, so now I'm gonna work it through my hair. And I'm working it through until, um, you know, from the root to tip, it's fairly um, easy for me to work my fingers through, fingers through my hair and I'm getting snags like that, working those snags out. It's not that big a deal um, as I used to think it was because as you go through the process of raking and smoothing, then you will get those final little snags should as you're uh, placing your curls as you rake and smooth in the smaller sections. Yeah, see that's pretty good. One little snag, just pull it apart. If you hit a snag, just gently pull it apart. It's okay. This hair wants to tight coil, right? And we're trying to elongate it, but not stretch, just And I can expect because it's close to my maintenance cut that my hair will be a little more snaggly at the ends. That's just a part of the process of hair growth. So I'm not fretting about it. Just gently work it through and in a week, I'm gonna be going through this like butter because I'm gonna have some freshly clipped ends and little to no snaggly pieces on the end. All right, so now I'm gonna separate my hair into four sections. You see me wiping my hands. I'm not trying to wipe the product off, but just the also little, you know, shed hairs are still, some are still coming off. What am I doing? This goes here. So get those off my hands because it feels yucky. And I don't want to put them back into my hair, right? They're trying to come out, so they need to stay out. So I'm gonna start here and come up here. Some At some point when I'm up here, I'll pop back in so you can see me do the top. Uh, one day I was thinking about I should, I guess face this way or put the camera where you can actually see me raking and smoothing the back of my hair. Um, so that is something that I have thought about. Um, also, thank you for, uh, yeah, over 750 subscribers at this point. I forgot to say that at the beginning of the video. We'll see where it's at um, by the time you see this video. But I appreciate all of you. So thanks so much. And yeah, I'll be back. So remember, if your hair has been sitting like this for a little while on top of each other. It might be prudent to warm it up. Um, Uncle Funky's Daughter is a product. It likes to be warm. So it helps to take some time to do this and it helps the raking and smoothing process to go smoother. You can also start telling your edges where you might want them to go.
try to, I used to be scared, but start at the root and you're drawing your fingers down and if you hit a snag, just take the time and pull your hair apart like that and continue to rake it and smooth it. And then instead of like, like uh, just you know, moving my hand down really fast and letting my hair spring up, I've started just kind of laying it, laying it down like that. That little section took a little more effort, didn't it? Shake it, clump it. There we go. So, oops, sorry, y'all. Sorry, hair, stay back there. And I'm gonna go sit under the dryer for an hour. Okay y'all, so I did break down and buy a new hooded dryer that has wheels on it and I love that I can pull the front down and the dryer turns on and I can push it up and the dryer turns off. So this is the new adi newest addition tool to my wash hour and so far I love it. Uh, check the description box below to see what type of dryer this is and how you can get it on Amazon. I also like how easily the back of my hair fits inside. Mango lip balm from Lavish Cocoa. 
because after all that heat, you know, coming down on my face from the dryer, lips are a little dry. And then this is Cheeky Gloss Balm from Fenty Beauty. I'm saying it now, so if, if y'all ask, um, sometimes y'all ask me later uh, what what I wore and I forget. So I'm, I'm saying it while it's on my mind. Anywho, this is my hair after one hour under my new hoodie dryer that I can say off the bat that did get the back a lot drier. And you see the front part. I could, that could probably be partly my fault. This is a little damp here. But sometimes I find it difficult, and maybe you do too, to hold my head up under the dryer because then the air like blows in my eyes and it's uncomfortable when it's on high heat. So maybe I didn't hold my head back as much as I could have or turn it and stuff. But anyway, this is what it's looking like on the inside even after an hour. And so this, this is why I'm going to go in with my diffuser and... Uh, hit those roots for 20 to 30 minutes to really uh, get it as dry as possible especially because it's a rainy day today so you know that puts more moisture in the air so I really want to give my hair the best possible start because I do have some time and so I'm going to diffuse my roots um, until my waiter order comes probably so I will show you what my hair looks like after um, my roots are mostly dry. Either I come right back or uh, after, <clears throat> like at the end of the day, before I'm putting um, a buff on, I will show you my roots. Hopefully I remember. I'm gonna try my best. So I will see you then. Sorry, this is what my dryer with my diffuser attachment looks like. So I'm just gonna take it and go in like this. Do some of this. You know, move it around like this. Um, hold it like this at some points and do whatever I need to do to get it dry. Hey, welcome to day two hair. Look, I got lipstick on too. Let's get that off of there. Speaking of lipstick, this is the Fenty Beauty. underrated stutter lip paint that's what i'm wearing today over of course my lip balm mango flavor so day two hair you know day two is not my favorite day because i still um i still know that my hair is still kind of settling into itself it's still it's firm it doesn't quite lay um right because it's fresh it's like when you get like a fresh fresh roller set and then as the day goes on it might loosen up so it still kind of has those like really firm bits but still looking good a lot of good hold and shape see that's all where it was foamy you can't even see my scalp see there's my scalp high density y'all but it's dry it's dry now there it was a little it's a little very slightly gummy here but it's not um like so sticky like i didn't put enough water in my hair it's like maybe it was just a little damp and then me sleeping on that night and maybe i sweated a little in my sleep last night so then it did like a little thing but if i hit it because this has happened before if i sit under the dryer for about five minutes or hit it with the dryer it usually clears clears that up so a little gummy but not like sticky gross right here and then tomorrow it won't even be an issue so that's my day two hair that's how she's doing there's no part that you can't see and I'm still getting excited for my uh, maintenance visit that's gonna be uh, maybe about oh, six days from now and I'm wondering what I'm gonna film or what um, I would be um, capturing which aspects of my visit since you know the first one was like don't know what to expect never done this before the second one was mainly the haircut you know what do you cut with the maintenance cuts 
cut so I will try to think ahead of time and figure out what I will um, do for this next one. Maybe I'll ask her for product recommendations, right, of edge controls or mousses or things that might be okay if they weren't, if they're not on the kind of regular list. Like, is there another all-purpose shampoo that's maybe second to AG? Is there another moisture poo that's second to um, Innersense? Is there another base gel, right, that's second to UFD, in her opinion, that uh, you could get um, if you weren't able to get the other things? Um, that's really close, right, but not, that's the thing about those products, like they're so unique that they're there themselves. But I might ask her for her um, recommendations on, on things like that and then share it with you and possibly either, even um, try them out. I don't know though. I like my routine and what I got going on, so I don't even know if I want to do that. But, you know, I, I could change my mind by this evening. But I, I will let y'all know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on day three. Hey, welcome to day three hair, which is one of my, it is my favorite hair day. Day three is when my hair really starts to to settle and it still has the hold, but some of the volume has come in. So uh, I like the way it, it looks. It's more toward the evening time now. I didn't get to film this first thing in the morning because I got up at four, like 50, so that I can um, be ready to do my first farmer's market. That was from 7.30 to noon and it went really well. I met a lot of nice people, got a lot of good uh, feedback about um, our products. And so that was really encouraging and um, just nice to be out in the open air um, at a park as well. Um, so um, this is my hair after taking a nap because like I did the market, we went and got something to eat, um, did one more thing came home couldn't wait to you know kick off my shoes look in there um i'm saying um a lot because i'm still tired y'all but kick off my shoes and get home and, and took a nap so this hair has been napped on that's i took a nap on it with no buff or anything i just laid my head in the pillow you see how some of my eyeliner is missing it's probably on the pillowcase the casualty of yeah me getting enough rest but I did get one um, hair compliment um, a lady and she was like I, I probably never get my hair like that you know I've been natural for two years and I did mention to her uh, that I learned from I am black girl curls but I don't know if she you know she took it in so um, there is still hope out there I used to think my hair would never do a thing um, but um if i'm were doing the same process i were before which was trial and error my hair wouldn't look like this right i had to take a leap and be open to trying a new technique and to try it consistently enough for it to work for me long term and to commit to it to get to this point so um, in a way that is true, if someone says my hair will never look like that, but dot, 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 if I don't change, right, the techniques that I'm using and switch them over to something that's going to get me the results that I want. So, um, oh yeah, don't forget my Bath and Body website, www.lavishcoco.com. I didn't mention that. Got some great feedback about our eucalyptus peppermint was really popular, um, body butter, was popular a lot of people said they liked that it wasn't greasy and they like how it absorbed into their skin but left a nice natural sheen so it's uh encouraging when the things you think about your products you hear people that don't know you saying it back to you so it's not just um my opinion anymore it's other people's opinion as well so thank you for um hanging with me till day three hair um this is i i 
think that even though my maintenance cut is coming up, it seemed like last time I had, it was time for my maintenance cut, my hair had grown out of the haircut a little worse than it has now. So I don't know if um, because of the just the process of how my hair is growing now is that if it's growing out more evenly I don't know if the way I've improved in setting my hair you know and bringing it down just so is contributing to still seeing the shape but I really can't wait to see what she decides to cut and it's interesting how you you don't really see the fullness or how your hair is growing until she shapes up that cut again and it's gonna be like ooh wow okay i see it i mean i see it but i'm gonna see it see it with that new cut so i'll be excited hair goals uh, don't forget i mentioned it in the previous video but i know some of you this may be your first video that you watched of me others you may have forgotten or maybe you think my goals have changed but they haven't um my goal <clears throat> is to have healthy hydrated defined hair definition over volume but because i'm high density my hair is gonna volume eventually so i'm just uh i i like both but definition first and then the volume can come later growing out this section is kind of masked but my corset section if i pull it up you see how much shorter it is especially this hair goes with this so this needs to grow out right so that's my goal too is growing continuing to grow this out and you know as that grows out maybe it'll look more like that and um grow it out in this haircut um i like my you know hair like this not like this so to keep that shape going and then uh eventually one of my other long-term goals is to get my hair um healthy enough to where my stylist thinks it will be in my hair's best interest to be able to handle color the way I would like to. And also one of my goals forever since I've been a natural is to just, can I have a puff, right? Follow Dunny, she has the same goal. Like, let me get let me get a puff so when this grows out, this is the puff zone mainly, right? So when this grows out and gets more length, to it then that will contribute to my goal too of having the puff that i've always dreamed of so that's me and some of my hair goals that i'm consistently working toward and i will see where i'm at in a year um, most people that i've seen where their hair is really grown out from when they started with their tight curl specialist it's taken them two two three years to reach hair goals at least two and then three is better right if you're consistent because it's gonna grow and fill in more so i'm still within the first year so i'm expecting to have a ways to go but enjoying every step of seeing the progress as well so for real thank you for watching and i will see you on day four hey welcome to day four hair Day four is a good day. I like how she's, you know, volumized, voluminousing, but still uh, not shrunk up under here. So the extra hold of the mop top is working. <laughs> Full disclosure, it is almost seven o'clock at night where I am. I almost forgot to pop in and tell y'all how my hair was doing today. I know, I'm sorry. I think I'm cause uh, yesterday, tired, still recovering from uh, the market and I got a good night's sleep but when I was out running errands and um, we went to the grocery store we were at Dollar Tree and this young lady when I walked in the door she was like oh I love your hair and then when I was getting back in the car I thought my hair I don't think I talked to y'all about my hair today but I'm here so yay for um, getting more compliments um, people still don't believe it when I say this is a wash and go it's like you know four days old or one time at the post office i told the young lady it was a wash and goes like seven or eight days old and even at the market yesterday when i was telling the lady about i'm black girl curl she was like "Ooh, girl my hair will never look like that i'm like yes it can yes it can but maybe she'll think about it later so anyway 
this is what's going on with my hair today yeah do some of this when we left to go to the run the errands it was not raining on the way back it started raining so getting the groceries out of the car and coming into the house just now it did rain on my hair uh, i did not have an umbrella you know just going from a driveway you know to the porch into the house so we will see if that drastically affects my hair tomorrow the little bit of rain that got on it but honestly i was mildly worried about it but the way um i've been able to uh set the hair and um getting a little bit of rain you know it's not gonna ruin ruin the whole thing it might be a little frizzier in sections but i'm, I'm confident that she'll she'll be fine tomorrow and uh i contemplated did i want to reset my hair one more time before I go to the stylist appointment appointment because every time I go to tyranny my hair is like frizzed out and I want her to see like a fresh set but she follows my Instagram and stuff so she sees my fresh sets and I send her pictures sometimes but I would just like her to meet it in person one day but it's okay it's okay um so yeah that's day four hair and I will definitely see you with day five hair with day five hair this side's not as sharp as the other side but that could just be my hair growing out of the haircut but it's just looking different Lee than when it previously grew out of the haircut because my hair is getting longer and longer yay and fuller and uh, I love big hair I know I like my definition first for my set but I like it when my hair gets big and even if I'm wearing it when it was sh relaxed, if I'm wearing it, you know, slick back, I still would rather have a bouffant at the top versus it just being a slick back ponytail. Like I like my hair to have some kind of volume, a little more character than just being straight. Even if it's straightened or in a roller set, I like to, you know, fluff it out and make it big. So yay for big hair, yay for day four hair, yay for consistent, simple hair care routine. And thank you so much for continuing to follow me on my hair journey. And I'm glad it's encouraging a lot of you um, in your hair journeys. And um, yeah, I'll see you on day five. Hey, welcome to day five hair. There's a lot of frizz here, but it's not affecting the overall shape of my hairstyle this go round. So I'm finding that very interesting. When I'm fluffing out my hair, I can tell feeling it like this is a bit of, like basically afro <laughs> right here. Let me see. Not so much here. This still has a little more definition. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. I basically have an afro right here and the rest has the definition and it hasn't started to frizz out down here um like it can has been known to do but i also have not worked out you know that's not true i did work out today i forgot i, I worked out early this morning but i didn't get on the treadmill i did more like cal calisthenics late late lifting weight lifting weight lifting that type of exercise squats and um core and and stuff like that so i did work out today and i forgot so there so this is here after just a little sweat not my full-blown you know jogging on a treadmill for 30 minutes sweat but still an effective workout so that's my day five hair she's doing good we'll see how she looks on uh day eight which will be the day i go get my third uh, maintenance visit the time it's like it's not going by fast but it is going by fast and right around the time it's getting closer for me to get my hair cut is like when I'm really starting to I guess it's growing enough for me really to see the growth and then the haircut of course will help me to see how much progress this part has made especially because when it, when tyranny does my hair even though I've gotten pretty good very good at my set myself at home 
she has a different right angle she's working from and she um, does a better job on setting my hair to cut it in a haircut, which is what I want, right? I want it to be as elongated as possible so she can trim it as accurately as possible. So that's day five. I'm gonna definitely see you on day six. I hope y'all are having a great day, a productive day. I hope y'all have at least visited my website, lavishcoco.com for my bath and body uh, brand that I started. And I hope that you've uh, at least joined the mailing list so you can keep up to date on um, news I may have or deals and such. And follow my Instagram page for that um, business because um, I don't know how many it is, but Instagram waits like to your business page gets a valid following before they will allow you to open up shopping on Instagram. So all of your um, support in that way is greatly appreciated. Thanks, have a great day. See you on day six. It's day six hair. Tell y'all what Abigail was doing today. Remember I told you this had started as like my little fro area. And so let's remember I have done a workout on this hair, but also Sunday um, when I was out running errands, grocery shopping on the way back home, it was raining and I did, my hair did get wet. So I'm also saying that to contribute some of the, a lot of the frizzes coming in to that as well as Oh, that just I think that's the mop top because remember when I had just the um I create hold I didn't have that much flaking so I'm blaming the mop top for this because my scalp's not itchy it's not dandruff it's product so that's one other um, difference in just wearing the I create hold versus the I create hold and the mop top is the at least the way I've been doing it so far it's more likely to like the gel um, crusting is more evident. So there's more hold, but more, you know, you can see the gel more. No, oh, all right, still in here. I'm still, um, I'm not resetting my hair. Y'all know she's in it for the long haul because I'm getting my hair reset Thursday. I just got my email this morning to confirm confirm my appointment for um this week so my hair is gonna have to hold out until day eight even if I have to wear um a headband or head wraps or whatever I choose so it can look how I would like it to look and to last that long but it still looks decent But after my hair appointment, I am gonna go back to just the, um, I create hold without the mops hold. Cause it's getting cooler outside, it's less humid. And I really like the way my hair was, was doing with that. So that's day six. I will definitely see you on day seven. Hey, welcome to day seven hair. No. Fro, fro, froish. And y'all know there is nothing wrong with an afro, right? They're awesome. I think they're more high maintenance than a wash and go. When I used to wear an afro, um, I'd be scared, you know, you'd go through the trouble to pick it out and make it just so, and if someone touch it, it could ruin your whole day, okay? But, saying that to say, an afro is not the look I was going for, right, when I styled my hair this week. The look I went for was wash and go, so when it starts getting into the fro zone, that means the definition of my wash and go is dissipating. So I'm sure this is from, you know, that, that stint I did in the rain earlier this week from working out, from possibly uh, sweating in my sleep as well. Those are factors putting humidity in on to my hair. 
and so yeah but she's she's still doing pretty good very good especially if I think about where I started because if I show you my day one from when I first started doing the 30 day 30 day hair detox this still almost looks better than what my day one hair used to look like and this is day seven um now so keep improving and compare yourself to yourself right i'm not going to find um i'm not doing that a picture of someone else when they're at their 10, 10 month mark or what have you and say oh no my hair their hair is doing this and my hair is not doing that excuse me be your own hair goals and if you compare yourself to yourself with improvement then you'll have a much more positive experience in life in general versus with comparing yourself to others so that's my thought my little nugget of wisdom for you for today and i will definitely see you tomorrow which will be day eight but it will also be my day one on my third maintenance visit and it will be my yeah my third maintenance trim and I think after I get this trim, because I am told y'all I've been, um, she tells me 10 to 12 weeks and I've been airing on the side of 10 weeks, but the way my hair is uh, feeling this go round and just paying attention to her, I think that I will be able to, for the next appointment, make it uh, 11 or 12 weeks out, just because how my hair is improving and then getting a lot of the old, uh, ends off and things like that so um, I'm looking forward to extend and maybe I'll graduate to the point where I know some stylists they tell their clients every 12 to 16 weeks so maybe I will be going every three to four months versus every two and a half to three months for my maintenance visit depending on how my hair is doing so I will see you on day eight I just show y'all the inside here I try to be consistent see and especially where it's the fro so you can see the difference how there's like there's lots of gel crusty but where where the definition at all right that's okay my scalp's not itchy that's not dandruff it's probably just for my hair jostling around in my sleep so there so when it gets froier, got to work a little harder to get it to, to shape. But just one more day. All right, there we go. All right, for real, that's it. Hey, welcome to day eight here. It is the last day for this set. But she looks pretty good. But it's perfect that this is the last day because this is the first day I felt my scalp being itchy. Gel, gel, gel. Gel, gel, gel. And so I'm looking forward to getting a good cleanse, condition, and style this coming up week. For this coming up, upcoming week. Because I get my professional hair appointment again. So. Tune in to the next video to see um, <clears throat> uh, what I learned new, uh, what my stylist had to say about my progress and my hydration journey. And yeah, I'm not sure what aspects of the visit I'll record, but you'll see. Thank you so much for watching, for subscribing, for liking, for helping me get closer and closer to my first goal of 1K subscribers within a year of doing um this content doing more content i appreciate every single one of you who uh, hits that button as well as that thumbs up button so thank you so much and i will see you on the next video